Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. In the last episode, we went all out and made Third Fantasy a very, very good game. My highest reviewed game, I believe. One of, at least, if not the highest. Um, it's selling pretty well. Not quite as well as I hoped, to be honest, but that's fine. Um, our most profitable game, however, is this arcade cabinet. So I'm kind of thinking arcade cabinets are the way to go, for a while at least. It's 1984 currently. Probably got a good 10, 15 years of arcade cabinets being good. Thing with those, though, is you need a separate room for each one. So I think I'm going to buy this property. Let's just go ahead and buy it. You got the money for that. Um, usually I use this room to self-publish my games, but I'm going to do it differently this time, this run. I'm not going to self-publish. I'm going to just buy a publisher once I have the money. Now, it is quite expensive to buy a publisher, um, especially if I want to buy one with a high market strength. So basically, the, what they cost tends to be uh, based on their market strength. So we look at here, uh, three-star market strength is $24.5 million. Four-star is $36 million. Uh, let's take a look at a two-star. It's $24 million. And a one-star is $17 million. So I'm kind of thinking maybe get a two-star market strength for now. But obviously, I don't have the money. I have 3.6 million. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get a second workshop down here. I want six desks in here. I'm kind of thinking maybe that size. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we can easily. Yeah, it's actually too big. Bigger than it needs to be. That's fine. All right, now the real question is, is there any technicians out there to hire? Um, actually, let's just put these, some amenities in here before we do that. Heating here, heating here should be good. Water dispenser, copy maker. Take care of my employees here at Luch Tech. Madison cabinet, we don't want them getting sick. And let's uh, throw a plant in here. In case anybody likes plants, any green thumbs. Oh, we got Game of the Year award. We can spice this room up with. Oh yeah, that makes the room fancy. Best graphics board? Sure. No, can't fit it there. All right, well, we will just put some posters to make this side of the room good. Since that side of the room is good because of the Game of Year award. All right, is there any technicians out there? There's three, actually. Nice. We are all hired. Welcome to the team. And we are going to take two of our people out of here. I can, I'm, I'm pretty sure six is enough. Um, so we'll take one of our really good people. And then just one of our weaker people. Kind of balance it out. And you can go there. Um, no commission work. All right, so I probably should have waited to do this until I had an arcade game actually ready. But I don't. And that's fine. Uh, so any commission work here? No. What about here? Yes, so let's do that. Our main development team is currently in training, so I'm kind of waiting for that training to be done. And then we will make a new arcade cabinet. Now, this one was a port. Now, the question is, do I want to do another port, or do I want to just make a fresh game? Right? And I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the answer to that question is. All right, so training is done. So let's grab them. Let's put them in here. And I'm thinking... You know what? Let's try making a fresh one. We did the port and it worked. So let's make Alien. Let's just make Alien Android 3. Alien Androids 3. Do we want to do that while Alien Androids is still on the market though? Yeah, let's do it. Because it's going to be strictly, uh, you know, an arcade cabinet, right? It's kind of different. Action, not terribly popular right now, but that's fine. Oh, so I can't actually make it a sequel. I would have to actually make it, huh? Can I turn this? Oh no, I can't. There we go. That's what we want. Alien Androids three. Um, let's go size A. Once we've done one size A, we might as well just make everything size A, right? That's the way I'm looking at it anyway. Um, is this engine up to date? Actually, I think it was. Yeah, I think it is. It's up to date enough anyway for me. Um, so we got most of this right. The stuff that's wrong, we need. We know it needs to go. Just be moved one, so we'll move it. Um, those look good there. 
Well, we can probably take some points off those. Put them there, since we still don't have a motion capture studio. And we won't for a bit yet. Actually, let's go. Let's go like that. Let's try that. Turn on everything that applies, which isn't quite as much, because stuff like save games obviously don't apply to an arcade cabinet. But that's fine. Still should be a good game, I think. And 50 hype right out of the gate is nice. Oh, and speaking of hype, I do need to make myself a marketing studio now that I have extra space, right? All right, so we're going to make that the best we can. Um, let's research new engine feature, primitive physics level 2. We will do some commission work here. And yeah, that's worth 74000 That's pretty good. So, yeah, so I don't have a lot of money right now. So let's just let let's let some money roll in here before we do anything else. Uh oh, not much rolled in there. We actually went down. <laughs> Old baseball studs didn't do well. But that was my that's my first sports game, right? I had no idea how to make a sports game. Just like Good Craft was my first strategy game, and I had no idea how to make good strategy games. It is what it is. It's fine. All right, so these people, you should wait. Should I, let's train these people. So you can stay behind because you're not going to get any benefit from training. We will train you folks in... Where's it at? Hardware and technology. By the time they're done with that training, the game should be ready, right? And we can move them and they can start making the game. We have this arcade cabinet is still selling. Ooh, 62 extra music points. A music star friend of an employee has composed a free soundtrack for your current game. Perfect. All right, so let's do another update for Third Fantasy. Although I think it's going to be pretty expensive. Yeah, 500000 for an update. That's, ye that's yeesh. Um, what do we got? We got genre, fighting game. We got topic. Let's do Noble Houses. I know my plan was to make a, a Noble Houses strategy game. Or do I already have Noble Houses? I do not have Noble Houses, so let's do that. Grab that, and then they can research what? Now let's get fighting game done. It might be the trend next, right? Actually, the trend's going to change in 17 weeks. I probably don't need to get noble houses. All right, you know what I do need, though? I need marketing. So, where can I put a little mark? This building is weirdly shaped. This room is, is weirdly shaped. Right? Like, it's very... Uh, oh, you can just... You can kind of have your own little office there. Then you can be there. There. Four people in there. Give them a nice cabinet. Oh, yeah. They're fancy down here with their cabinet. Their trash can, their water dispenser. I'm thinking maybe, should I make a break room and a toilet down here? Because it's a long walk for them to go on break or to the bathroom. I probably should. But let's just hold off on that until we get a few more people down here. And then we'll do that. Alright, and do we have room for any of the awards in here? Or any of the plants? I got these awards, I want to I want to use them. Alright. So that's enough to make that room cool AF. All right, so is there any marketing people out there to hire is the question. There is oh, two, actually. All right, perfect. And my other room doesn't need all its people, so I can put them two, and then I'll pull one of these people out. That They don't need four. They can keep up just three of them. Now we can do marketing. So... We can only do so many different types of marketing right now, right? So because internet ads and top streamer are obviously locked behind technology. We could do a TV spot, but this is really expensive. It's 500000 right? But I'm going to do a TV spot for Third Fantasy. Oh, uh, let's continue development on this. That's a lot of bugs that we need to get rid of. Rid of. Actually, I probably should have done a TV spot for for this, <laughs> for Alien Androids 3, but I did not. All right, so music team is still working, graphics team is polishing. 
Uh, this development, backup development team's not doing anything. So we were going to do strategy. Well, we were going to, no, no, we're not going to do strategy. 12 weeks. Um, what haven't we done lately? We've got an action game, Kokinam. We've got an RPG. We haven't done a puzzle game in a long time. Maybe Puzzle Pets 3 or 4 or whatever it's at. We got all tech level 2 stuff. That's interesting and good. All right. Gamma 3D. Two. Actually, let's call this Puzzle Engine. <laughs> just so I know. Just so it's easier to find and stuff. Puzzle Engine 2 for the PC. Not. Not the Kateri. Because the Kateri is a tech level 1. <laughs> That would literally be a terrible idea. Third Fantasy, it's consistently selling about the same though, right? But this marketing campaign should help too. In theory. Actually, it's kind of insane how consistent the sales are for that. Alright, so everybody's polishing. I'm just waiting for these folks to be done training. Yeah, they're close enough now. So let's uh, finish development. Hopefully it's good. 80 to 100. That's what we like to see. Look at all those stars. That is ideal. It's a pretty good high quality cabinet. We'll put it at the $1,000 sales price. Beautiful. Getting better at stuff, which is good. Oh yeah, 91%. That's what we want. We just want it to be over 90. Um... All right, so let's do a quick game report. Any commission work here? Let's do that. Any commission work here? Let's do those. Blast through those. Let's do an update. Day one patch for Alien Androids 3. And then... Then what? <laughs> let's start producing... Alien Androids 3 here. They're doing that. I, there's no way I can get a strategy game out in seven weeks, I don't think. So, let's make a puzzle game. This one will be for a home console. Or will it? Or do I want to do another? No, I want to wait and see how this does. Right? Doing a, We made a lot of money doing an arcade cabinet port. I want to make sure that a fresh arcade cabinet will work before I make one. So let's do another sequel. I'm going to just start spamming sequels, which I know is kind of, you know, it's kind of greasy, but whatever. I need, uh, <laughs> I need to make money. I need to buy my own publisher. So let's go computer game console, size A, also pets four. Uh, what do we got here? Puzzle Engine 2, personal computer. Mimtendu. Kateri. No, nope, not the Kateri. Apple. And it needs to be tech level 2, right? So Commodore C63 it is. Or let's see. Is there anything else out there that we could buy? Like, for example, the, the Sega. Is the Sega out yet? Doesn't appear to be. No. All right. So Commodore C63 it is. Oh, we are not good at this stuff. <laughs> we have some experience in the 8-bit sound, at least. All right, there should be new copy protection out there. There is. Let's equip that. Beautiful. 7274, 4268. Looking good. 818. Let's put that down to zero because it wasn't right. Everything looks good there. Turn on everything that applies. Now, this doesn't need to be a size A game. We could go back and make this a B-plus game, but... It'll also be a little worse, and I'm gonna. I make quality games here at Luke's Tech, right? I don't make bad games. All right, so actually, all my all my sub teams are currently doing something, so that was kind of a mistake on my part. Probably should have waited. Oh, did we win anything? Ah, ah. Hey, game of the year, and hey, publisher of the year. They're the ones who publish my games, so I'm taking some credit for that one too. <laughs> all right, they're finally done. So let's pick them up, put them there. All right, so they're still doing that. They're finished their commission work. So let's do that. They're finished theirs. Let's do some high quality sounds and let's assure some quality here. Noise. 
All right, uh, let's do an update for what? Career fantasy, keep that high. Oh, did my mark? Oh, my marketing must have finished. Look at those extra sales from the marketing. Yeah, so technically, doing this game update is actually more expensive than the marketing. Actually, the marketing's not done. Oh, because it won Game of the Year, so this marketing was a complete waste of money. Oh, that was a waste of 500 grand. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Level 2 items have been unlocked. Must be 1985. It is. So it's just basically better desks. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Alright, so let's do... We can do market research and get a two-week uh, head start on, on what the next trend is going to be. Let's do special marketing mode for Alien Androids 3. Publish, can you really publish a demo for a arcade cabinet? <laughs> that seems weird to me. Right? Oh, Puzzle Pets 4. Lost some points. That is less than ideal. Double A, console development. Let's hold off on those. Let's just bang out the rest of these topics, pretty much. And you guys can do an update for Alien Android 3, which is sales are starting to tank, which is not good. Not good at all. Actually, it's it's doing okay. Hey, the demo. Again, I don't know how I released a demo for an arcade cabinet, but I did. Got me 15 hype, though. Alien Androids 2 is off the market. That is fine. Since, you know, we're making Alien Androids 3 as we speak. Alright, so... Special marketing. Or Puzzle Pets 4. Release a beta demo. We're not... Are we close enough that we can release a beta demo? Yes, we definitely are. Continue development. Release a beta demo. See how that goes. All right, so the new trend is saboteurs and skill game. Uh, we have not made many skill games. All right, so Puzzle Pets 4, got 10 hype out of that. All right, so let's do a pre-release for the press. See if that gets me any extra review score points. All right, so Alien Androids 3 sales have uh, kind of plateaued, but they plateaued in a good place, right? I'm okay with that. How much hype does Puzzle Pets? Should I do a TV spot for this? Get it up to 90 hype? Yeah, let's do it. That'll get it pretty much to 100 hype, right? All right, so let's do... Let's update the skill engine. Since that is the trend, I will probably want to do at least one skill game. Skill engine 2. Coming in hot. Beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. All right, so how's Second Fantasy 2 do sales? Oh, they're definitely not what they used to be, but they're, it is still selling. Okay. Alien Androids 3, obviously, selling really well. Nice. Third Fantasy still selling fairly strong. I kind of want to wait for this marketing to be done. All right, baseball studs is off the market. Did not make me much, but it made me some. All right, uh, it was my first sports game. All right, we got a new game designer, Legendary, available. Probably buy them, even though I don't really have space for them. We'll just stuff 13 people in that room. Nope, that makes them all unhappy. <laughs> we don't want them all to be unhappy. So who's our worst game designer? Stella, I got some bad news. Sorry, Stella. The risk of firing people is it can upset everybody else, right? You don't want to just fire people willy-nilly. How's the marketing come? All right, I need a fourth person in this marketing room to get through these TV spots faster. And we have a person. We have an option. All right. As soon as it's at, once this hits 50%, we'll release. We got advanced 8-bit sound. Man, the tech is coming in fast and furious right now. Do another update for Alien Androids. Yeah, these tend to stay on the market for a long time. It'll be worth it. 
All right, so let's release this. Hopefully it's good. 80 to 100, yeah, that's usually pretty good. Um, so we're going to have to search for a publisher. And that's fine. So this is a puzzle game. So we're probably going to go with Data West. We already have a strong relationship. Decent market strength. Right, or we could go Katari with really good market strength. Market strength is king in this game, in my opinion. So let's go with Katari. Yeah, we gotta we gotta kick out some more games here. Get better at this engine stuff. So let's oh wow, 94%. Noise. Beautiful. Alright, so let's immediately just go right into another game. Well no. Actually, let's not. Let's uh, let's do some commission work. Let's get through all that. It'll give um, time to do a game report. Um, there's no commission work. Okay, so apparently I need more Jander robots. I got multiple rooms complaining about the mess. I don't know if it's going to let me fit one here. Yep, okay. And what about one down here? Okay, perfect. All right, so at what point do I pull Second Fantasy II Deuce off the market? Probably soon, but I don't have a second arcade cabinet ready to go. So let's port, um, let's port something over. We want to do a port right now. Do I have time to get these people trained with quick training session? There is 11 of them. So it'll go pretty quick. Let's just do this one. At least I hope it goes quick. <laughs> yeah, okay, second fancy. Two deuce is... No, no, it's still sold 50. So it is still selling. Puzzle Pets 4 is selling extremely well. Let's do... Uh, no, do not mean to pick up that desk. Let's do a update. Free update. Puzzle Pets 4. Boom. That's good. That's hey, third fancy did make money for me. Not much money <laughs> thus far. I mean it's not off the market yet, but Alright, so let's make Do I want to port over a skill? See, I don't have any skill games worth porting. Um So do I want to make a fresh arcade cabinet that's a skill game? I guess. No, I'm not a pro at skill games either. That, that could be a problem. Uh, what works for a skill game? Digging. Now, I did have a... Digging games earlier. What did I call it? Dig Dog? Did I already use Dig Dog? <laughs> Let's just call it Digger. Diggers. No, that rhymes with something that's not a good word. Um, <laughs> digging for treasure. Oh, these are terrible names. I'm sorry. Too much pressure. I need to like plan out my game names before <laughs> I do the video or something. All right. Um, arcade, arcade system. Okay. Yeah, at least we got a star and everything. Although there is new sound already, so <laughs> we're five star on that after this, but we'll never use it again. Oh my god, we do not know where to put these for skill games. What is our last skill game? Man, I thought I was better. Yeah, see, Dig Dog. I did have a Dig Dog. 38, 56, 79. So what do... Oh, we just... Went fives right down the board. Okay. <laughs> well then. <laughs> we do not know how to make these games. 40, 10, 10, 40. So we want this at 50. For sure. Like that should work. All right, so let's look at the letters for that though. See if we can get some sliders better. Beginner friendly, level design, mission design, too violent, too easy. Level design, mission design, beginner friendly. 
uh, too violent, too easy, right? So then we can put you, you, and you down. I'm kind of nervous that this isn't going to be very good. I'm thinking I'm going to make this B plus, and we might reg I might regret that. It might end up being worse because of that. Like, oh, I know it's going to be worse, but it's going to cost me money overall. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Like, is the money I saved for making a B plus, is that going to be worth it in the long run? And I, I don't know. <laughs> but I already skimped money in one spot, so let's not skimp money anywhere else. All right, so they're doing that update. They're getting through that stuff. Okay, so they finished that marketing. So let's do some special marketing for Puzzle Pets 4. Let's publish a demo. That will get it up to 100 hype. In theory. If it works, I guess it will. It did. Well, 98 hype. Close enough. All right, we got, got some new research. So let's uh, let's end automation there. And let's... Oh my God, that's a lot of research. Advanced 8-bit sound. Okay, and QA. We haven't started... We haven't started QA yet because we're in training. Man, this training is just delaying everything. Oh, well, that's fine. How am I doing? Oh, I am. Ugh. I might have to sign a publisher exclusive contract. My money is just not going up fast enough. Like, I need like 24 million, right? For what I want to do. Um, all right, so this has no hype. So let's. Oh, well, this will give it some hype. <laughs> So digging for treasure, Alien Androids 3, and Third Fantasy. Let's get those hyped up. Okay, so what's that up for hype now? 24. Well, we can market that up a bit. Where's that here? Digging for treasure. We can get that up to 40. Or well, 39. For, the, for a nice control price of... Uh, like 5,000 or whatever it was. All right, so they don't have anything going on here. Uh, another update for Puzzle Pets? Sure. We've only done one so far. What it's For what it's selling at, I think that'll be worth it. How much Second Fantasy? Second Fantasy 2 Deuce is still moving, but as soon as this is done, we're going to it off right we're going to continue development it's got a lot of work to do it's not going to be great no matter what because skill game we're not great at skill games and i just realized my sound studio doesn't get through the work as fast as my graphic studio does so let's uh let's get another desk in here and actually i gotta upgrade all my furniture there's a button for that to upgrade it automatically right here so let's just look You'll see all this stuff change. It's kind of, it's pretty cool, actually. See? Look at that. More fancy. And everywhere else as well. What about the arcade cabinets? Oh, yeah, look at those. Those definitely changed. Nice. What about the graphic studio? Looking good. Training room. That cost me a lot of money, though. But it'll be worth it, right? Now we'll get through stuff a lot faster. It just influences speed. Probably should have done that a while ago, but I didn't because I'm a slacker. All right, what do we got here? Mini games and voice output. Cool. Let's get through these. Yeah, we're just waiting for QA because they were in training, right? Got to get rid of these bugs. And hopefully, it's hopefully it doesn't suck. Oh, so let's do special marketing for it. Where's that? Digging for treasure. Let's do a release beta demo. And then a pre-release for the press. They're not happy because the room is... Good job, cleaning robot. And then pre-release for the press. Alright, five extra hype. I'll take it. And extra review points, hopefully. Yes, plus 3%. Nice. Alright, so still some bugs here. Not many, though. Actually, we could hire one more game tester if there's somebody out there. And they get sick a lot, but whatever. 
says the guy who's stuffed up. Apparently, I'm also sick a lot. All right, so we're bug free. So let's uh, let's put this out. Yeah, 70 to 90, so it should be over 80, so not too bad. Um, so this is arcade cabinet, so we got to self distribute. We can't do a publisher for that. And we will go with that. Yeah, we're getting better at some things at least. Oh, we are now an established game studio. Yeah, 86%. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So, uh, we'll let them finish there for the week. Okay, so cancel task. And do I need to pull it from the market? Remove game from market. Yes. Second Fantasy 2 deuce. Hey, it made me 8.5 million. That's my most successful game. And they will now start producing Digging for Treasure. Beautiful. Hopefully, hopefully, it sells well. Because it cost me... Actually, it only cost me $2 million. That's not too bad. Oh, right, because it was only size B+. Plus. Anyway, that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Links in the description down below to all those. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.